Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information. MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. When Marc Marquez lines up on the Qatar MotoGP grid for his Grazzini Ducati debut, it will have been 868 days since his last Grand Prix victory. That win, the 59th of Marquez's illustrious career, came at the Emilia Romagna round, at Misano, on October 24, 2021. Since then, he's made just two podium appearances, at Phillip Island 2022 and Motegi 2023. The persistent drought eventually prompted Marquez to rip up the final year of his Repsol Honda contract and join younger brother Alex on a year-old Ducati at Grazzini this season. Alex, whose own Grazzini move transformed his MotoGP fortunes last season, has no doubts about Mark's level, although he warned the number 93 to take care at the beginning of the season. I don't have any doubts that he will achieve the level because he already showed it, said Alex, who took two sprint wins and two Grand Prix podiums during his best MotoGP season to date last year. Of course, he needs to take care at the beginning of the season because there are a lot of Ducati riders with more experience than him with this bike. He can be a bit stronger, see if he can score good points in the first few races and make a season stepping forward, then he'll be in the fight. But it's too early at the moment to have any expectations. The number 73 added, he made a very important change in his career. He knew he had a great opportunity to go back to the top level, but it will also be his first year on a Ducati, on a new bike, so for sure he will have some ups and downs. In the preseason he will see what he needs to improve more, if he struggles or not, if the strong points he had on last year's bike, Honda, are also useful in this bike, Ducati. For sure, he'll be fast and will put the rest of us in difficulties. Anyway, it will be great to see how far he is going with this new bike. The eight-time world champion, who broke into a big smile of relief on his way to fourth fastest on his Desma Setasai debut at the Valencia Test, will return to the track alongside his brother during official testing at Sepping from February 6th to 8th. But what will happen if the Grazzini teammates find themselves fighting for victory the final lap of a race this year? If we're fighting, we're fighting, laughed Mark. Yeah, exactly, said Alex. It's like this. Well, I'm sure you have a little more respect. Maybe not respect, but you will overtake and think, okay, if I make any mistake, I'd better leave some room to let him go, or something like that. But in the end, if you're on track fighting for a victory, you just try to find the best way for yourself. I agree with that, added Mark, notoriously ruthless in battle. Of course, overtaking on the last lap is always critical, even if it's your brother or any other rider, but if he is also your teammate, you have to be extra careful with the situation. We showed in 2022 that if we were fighting for a 7th position, it wasn't even for a victory, we fought each other like if it was with any other rider, and this is also important, the spirit. Because in the end he's my brother and my teammate but also another opponent. Alex felt several victory chances slipped through his fingers last year, but Mark advised the former Moto3 and Moto2 world champion to focus on consistency. For me, Alex already showed last season that he can fight for victory. Now, the most difficult thing or the most important thing is trying to understand if he can be constantly in that position or if he has some ups and downs, Mark said. His clear target is trying to be in the top 8 or 6 on every race, that would be good. Of course, if he can fight for more, it will be welcome, but it's better to have low expectations now because we still have to make the preseason and, after that, you will be able to realize more which goal you can approach to. The second part of last season from Alex, after his injury in India, was super good. He was fighting for victory in Malaysia, he won two sprint races and he was constantly on the front two rows, of the grid, on qualifying sessions too, also racing with the top five. So it will be good for me to have a teammate like him in order to learn how to ride the Ducati. Johan Zarco was one of six different Ducati riders to win a race in 2023, a record for a single season in the MotoGP era. Of the two Ducati riders that didn't win a Grand Prix, Alex Marquez still took a pair of sprint victories while Luca Marini claimed his first Premier Class podiums. But Zarco now moves from the top manufacturer in the constructor's table to the bottom, with a switch to LCR Honda. However, whilst praising the versatility of the Ducati in the hands of many different riders, the Frenchman insists the other MotoGP manufacturers are only a few changes away from the top. What Ducati has been incredible at is to make a bike that all riders can win on, he explained. 
They give the opportunity to each rider to win races and to fight for podiums, by finding for everyone a good feeling on the bike. This is where they have been fantastic. But when you analyze everything, the performance difference is not so big and that's what gives a lot of hopes for the others. Because it will be one change, or a few changes, that will bring the other bikes also on the top. As well as a long-awaited debut MotoGP win, Zarco signed off his third and final season at Pramac by contributing to an historic victory in the team's world championship, alongside title runner-up Jorge Martin. It's really nice when you are looking back on this season and the nice podiums that, Martin and I, have shared together, Zarco said. I started this season well and got more points than Jorge, but from his win in the sprint race in Le Mans, Jorge has been incredible, almost not leaving the podium and fighting for the title. We could not expect, to also fight for the team's title, at the beginning of the season, maybe thinking that, factory Ducati duo, Pecco and Bastianini would have been taking the most points. So I'm pretty proud that I've been part of it. On the other hand, Valentino Rossi's brother, Luca Marini was victorious in Friday's Americana race at the 100 km of Champions, hosted by Valentino Rossi. Marini's win was his first on a Honda rider, something he will hope continues long into the new year. He was riding a Honda CRF 450. Marini edged Diogo Morera and his brother Rossi at the finish line. Elia Bartolini was fourth. Franco Morbidelli and Bartolini had made it through the qualifying phase to begin from the front row with Marini and Rossi. He won at the ninth edition of the event at Rossi's ranch in Tavalia. Francesco Bagnaia did not participate in Friday's Americana but will return for Saturday's race. The 100 km of champions concludes with the main race on Saturday, January 13. On the other hand, Marquez might not be welcomed to the Ducati family by riders affiliated to VR46, he has been warned. Among the many intriguing dynamics thrown by one of the biggest rider moves in MotoGP history is how Marquez will get along with the riders who belong to his old rival Valentino Rossi's team. He already had a heated war of words with Marco Bezzecchi at the end of last season, but this year they will be equipped with the same bike and will both fall under the Ducati umbrella. Pramac Racing boss Paolo Campanotti has insisted that he would not have signed Marquez for just one year, AS report. It didn't make sense, he said. For better or worse in the Ducati world there are many VR46 riders and let's say that the Marquez family is not well regarded. There is going to be even more mess in the mess. Grazzini Racing lured Marquez to their team, where he has penned a one-year deal for 2024. Bringing Marquez into the Ducati clan was a delicate process made easier by Grazzini's status as an independent squad. Pramac will retain Jorge Martin, the 2023 runner-up, alongside Franco Morbidelli who replaces Johan Zarco. Campanotti insists he has spent wisely. If I had to make an economic effort and I say it publicly, I would do it for Martin, who is worth more than Mark, the Pramac boss claimed. In the end he is younger and I like him more. Pramac briefly appeared like an option for Marquez last year before falling away. We were interested in signing Marquez and Ducati told us it could be done, but only with a two-year contract, Campanotti claims. He insists that the same policy was not applied at Grazzini. Ducati have tried to mitigate the possibility that Marquez could shine in his one year on a Desmosetisi, then take those secrets to a rival manufacturer in 2025, by only permitting him to bring a sole engineer from Honda. He will otherwise work with Grazzini's existing framework. He is still one of the strongest riders, if not the strongest in the world, Campanotti admitted. He has very special characteristics, he is aggressive and unbalancing, something that at Ducati can be difficult to manage.